And welcome fellow gamers world. Today I'm going to show you an absolute broken build for the Necromancer where you can stuff things off and blow shit up. Let's get to it. Okay, Den Mother, show us what you got. It's freaking nuts, bro! What? Let's uh, let's show you how this works. So you're gonna basically, you're basically just gonna hit decompose so like this. You're gonna create some bodies. You're gonna use your pierce, use your pierce, and then you're just gonna start mashing your buttons to explode everything. As you see, everything just dies instantly. It's absolutely broken. Everything just dies instantly, and you don't have to worry about anything. Other than everything just freaking dying. Like, this is just nuts. Look at this. Just, just dying. As you can see, there's a boss here. We're going to use our ultimate. We're going to taunt. We're going to decompose. We're going to dodge out of that. And then, as you can see, you also just develop barriers constantly, too. And just keep exploding. And he died within, what, like a few seconds? Let's get into the legendaries that we're using for this build that makes it so strong. First off, we got the Helmet Sovereign Helm of the Protector. Basically, um, I imprinted damage into the enemy grants you a barrier, so making the Necromancer more tanky to give 315, um, a barrier shield for 315 damage for up to 10 seconds, and it can apply every 30 seconds, which is absolutely nuts. Maximum number of Skeletal Warriors increased by 2. This is amazing with the Reapers that we have as our Skeletons, because basically you have 6 now instead of 4, which means more bodies can be shed onto the ground that you can explode and gain back Essence. Then we have each time one of your summoning minions damage the enemy, they gain 10% attack speed for 3 seconds up to 30 seconds. This is absolutely amazing for bosses, because then on bosses you can generate more bodies as well from your reapers hitting the bosses. Then we have um, uh, the Protector's Event Adventure Pants imprinted when hit with not well hit while not healthy. A magical bubble is summoned around you for 3.0 seconds. While standing in the bubble, players are immune. This is amazing for bosses too that have poison effects and stuff like that where you can just stand in it, just keep generating bodies. And just doing massive damage. We now have Wind Strikers Venture Boots, where we have critical strikes grants 11 seconds of move speed for one second up to six seconds. It's actually amazing uh, when you crit a lot with your Bone Spear, so you can move around more quickly. Then um, I have Imprint. Uh, Decompose can chance to two additional targets. When Decompose spawns a corpse, it has a 48% chance to spawn a corpse under all afflicted targets. So basically, with this going up to three targets, you can spawn potential 50% chance. To keep spawning bodies everywhere so you can keep blowing up the bodies it's absolutely nuts and insane then our shield you heal for 7.8 life per second for each close enemy up to 46 life per second which is if you're getting surrounded which you usually don't with the necromancer because you can just blow everything up you have health regeneration up the wazoo the ring that we're using consuming of course increases the next damage of your next course go by six percent up to thirty percent if you keep consuming corpses and don't use your Bone Lance until this gets up to 30%, then you could hit so hard with Bone Lance because of um, this necklace right here, which Bone Spear, or sorry, Bone Spear. Primary attack makes enemies hit beyond the first vulnerable for 3.8 seconds. Bone Shards from Bone Spear deal 163% bonus damage to vulnerable enemies. So with this, with this, with the 30%, and then also Critical Slice with Bone Skills increase your land. Essence yeah, Regeneration by 30% for 4 seconds. So this build, basically, um, you're going to be using so much of these legendaries to replenish essence and just keep building that up constantly to keep casting your bone spear it's just absolutely nuts one thing that i wish i did get while playing this is i heard there was a legendary that let you automatically do corpse explosion if you get that piece of gear it's just gonna let you blow up everything passively <laughs> oh to get God. a passive essence regeneration it's absolutely nuts that's this build nuts. is going to be insane in Diablo 4. Let us go over the Book of the Dead and the abilities that you're going to be using for this build. I took off my armor so you guys can see the straight up stats and skills that you're going to have with just the skills. So Book of the Dead, I am running Reaper with Reaper's 50% chance to carve the flesh off of enemies forming a corpse, which is going to be amazing for the blowing up portion of this build. Skeletal Mages, I have them basically uh, damage enemies so they'll gain you primary attack, you gain two essence. And what this does is when they're gaining their attack speed plus 30% from the one legendary I have, you're gaining 30% increase of two essence constantly with their attack. It's absolutely amazing for just bamming Bone Spear. 
Then we have our uh, golem. Our golem sheds corpses uh, when it uh, takes up to 20% of its maximum life. So this is really good for bosses or like a lot of adds nearby. So you can basically just keep spamming bone spear and blowing up corpses to build your essence back up and just doing mass amount of damage will make him vulnerable. So let's get into the abilities here. I went for uh, I went for decompose because the legendary to decompose it generates seven essence per second, tearing the flesh from an enemy, dealing 149 damage per second, and forming a, uh, a usable corpse with the flesh every 2.5 seconds. So regardless, it's going to form a corpse 2.5 seconds, and then with the legendary, it's going to proc to give you uh, double that. So now, if an enemy dies while being decomposed, you gain 10 essence, and then you and your minions deal 10% increased damage to enemies who are being decomposed. So this is really good for like an opener for like generating bodies right off the bat, um, especially with your minions to do more damage to generate even more bodies. Next, we have um, Lucky Hit. Your damage is up to a 4% chance to create a corpse at the target's location. The reason I did that is just more corpses means more explosions means more damage. Then we have Bone Spear. This is your massive damage for this build here. Found your Bone Spear from the ground, dealing 363 damage and piercing through enemies. Bone Spear breaks into three shards when it is destroyed, dealing 35 damage each. Bone Spear makes the first enemy hit vulnerable for three seconds. This is amazing. Like, absolutely amazing. Next, we have um, Corpse Explosion. Detonate Corpse doing 293 damage to surrounding enemies. Corpse Explosion's radius is increased by 15%. Corpse Explosions deal 10% increased damage to enemies that are slowed, stunned, or vulnerable. This is amazing, too, because you're making everything vulnerable with the Bone Spear, so you're just doing even 10% more damage with just exploding corpses. Skeletal Warrior Mastery, I did this so that our Warriors have 50% more life and 15% more damage, so that they can help with when we have Decompose, and then Generating Bodies. Right here we have Grim Harvest. Consuming a Corpse generates 9 Essence. This is going to be your main Essence Generator alongside decompose because you're going to be exploding so many bodies to gain your essence back to just keep getting essence back to cast bone spear non-stop it's nuts you deal eight percent increased damage for four seconds after consuming a corpse and with your bone spear you do eight percent more damage after you consume a corpse and every time you consume a corpse you can basically cast bone spear spear again it's nuts then down here we have increased the damage of life for your skeleton mage by 15 percent because our uh, mages are generating more essence and so we want them to do more damage so they can help um, just besides just generating more essence to do more damage. Down here we have your bone skills have a 0.5% increased critical chance for each 10 essence you have upon cast. Which this increasing the critical strike chance when they're vulnerable increases the damage exponentially. It's nuts when it procs. Then we go down here we have army of the dead. The reason why I chose army of the dead is because then I can constantly. Um, so for example if you have to fight the butcher or a boss and your skeletons or something are dying in poison. If you use Army of the Dead, not only does it do a lot of damage by calling forth the deep buried dead, Volta Skeleton Merger will let its next 7 seconds explode when around enemies dealing 106 damage. It also, Volta Skeleton is bold to leave a 50% chance to leave behind a corpse. So this is a good opener for a boss as well. So you can just start spamming corpse explosion. And then Army of the Dead also raises your Skeletal Warriors and Skeletal Mages, so if any of them die. This is, this is an absolutely amazing skill combination, and it's absolutely freaking nuts. If you like minion builds, this is definitely the build for you. Thank you for watching this Necromancer build for Diablo 4. I hope this build helps you guys in your Diablo 4 endeavors. Thank you for watching. If you do like this video, subscribe, leave a comment. I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time.